Howdy y'all. Today we explore the outdoor and indoor museums of the Manitou Cliff Dwelling in Manitou, Colorado. These relocated, reconstructed, and replica dwellings create a unique outdoor museum where you have the opportunity to step back in time and explore cliff dwellings up close. The Manitou Cliff Dwellings Indoor Museum provides educational experiences where visitors can learn about the history and culture of ancestral Puebloans. Artifacts, tools, and pottery are on display, allowing a deeper understanding of the daily life of these ancient people. So let's go explore the outdoor reconstructed cliff dwellings first. The ancestral Puebloan people inhabited the American Southwest from around 1 AD to 1300 AD. They were skilled farmers who cultivated corn, beans, and squash as their primary crops. Corn was not only a crucial food source, but it also played an important role in their cultural and religious practices. Corn was often used in ceremonies and as offerings. Corn grinding played a vital role in communal gathering spaces where individuals would come together to socialize, share stories, and interact, fostering a sense of belonging and unity within these ancient societies. The process of grinding corn using the mano and matate have been handed down through generations and played a crucial role in transforming this humble crop into a staple food source. The matate, a large stone slab with a concave surface, serves as the base, while the mano, a smaller handheld stone, is used to grind the corn against the matate surface. Corn kernels were ground using a rhythmic back and forth motion with the mano crushing the kernels. This task required strength, patience, and precision. By skillfully controlling the pressure exerted on the corn, a fine corn flour was created. The Manitou Cliff Dwellings consist of a series of interconnected rooms and a circular kiva. It was created in 1904 using replica and reconstructed Pueblo Cliff Dwellings originally located near McElmo Canyon near Cortez, Colorado. The commercial venture was open to the public in 1907. The construction of the cliff dwellings utilizes stone, clay, and wooden beams to create the sturdy buildings that you can walk through today. Today the Puebloan culture continues to be deeply rooted in the southwestern region of the United States. At the heart of these communities lie the Kiva, a unique and sacred architectural structure holding immense cultural significance. Kivas are subterranean chambers often found within or adjacent to Puebloan villages and serves as a spiritual focal point for religious practices and ceremonies. 
Kivas foster a sense of communal unity and social cohesion with the Kiva being utilized for important meetings, discussions, and decision-making processes within the Kiva society. These sacred spaces serve as a connection between the physical and spiritual realms. Through rituals performed inside the Kivas, Puebloan communities seek spiritual guidance, blessings, and protection for their people and the land they inhabit. Oral histories are passed down through generations, preserving ancient customs, songs, dances, and stories that define Puebloan identity. Visitors to the privately owned Manitou Cliff Dwellings have the opportunity to explore the preserved remains of archaeological structures. Exploring the dwellings allows you to step back in time and imagine what life was like for the ancestral Puebloan people. Walking through the narrow passages, peering into the small rooms, and climbing the ladders creates an immersive museum experience. Alongside the dwellings, the Indoor Museum offers exhibits that showcase artifacts, pottery, tools, and dry land farming methods, providing insight into the cultural and daily lives of the ancestral Puebloans. The Puebloan people were known for their extensive knowledge of the natural world and utilized various plants and animals for their survival. This room depicts an area where one notable animal, the turkey, was kept. Turkeys were domesticated and bred for their feathers, meat, and eggs. These birds were a valuable source of protein and their feathers had a multitude of uses from blanket making to ceremonial dress. Turkeys were also used for their eggs which were consumed or used as a trade commodity. Turkeys were often featured in stories and as artwork on pottery. One of the most fascinating aspects of cliff dwelling architecture is the ventilation system. The cliff dwellers constructed T-shaped doorways that you can see in this reconstructed wall. These openings were designed to circulate fresh air throughout the dwelling. The large top portion of the doorway could be covered, allowing the smaller lower section of the doorway to funnel and channel cool fresh air between living spaces. The ventilation system allowed the residents of these dwellings to live comfortably free from excessive heat and smoke. Pit houses are some of the oldest structures found in the desert southwest and were built hundreds of years prior to the great multi-story cliff dwelling cities. Cliff dwellings are actually very late stage defensive type structures. Pit houses were typically dug into the ground creating a shallow pit. The pit provided insulation and helped maintain a more temperate climate inside the dwelling. The walls were constructed using a combination of stone, adobe, and wood. 
Pit houses had a central hearth used for cooking and heating. The roofs were made from various materials such as branches, grass, and mud, forming a canopy that protected the inhabitants from the elements. Farming was essential to survival in the desert southwest where water was scarce. To combat this challenge, irrigation systems were designed to direct water from nearby rivers and streams to farm fields. This method allowed for the growing of crops including corn, beans, and squash. Corn was a significant source of carbohydrates providing energy to fuel their physically demanding lifestyle. Beans added protein to their meals while squash supplied valuable vitamins and minerals. In addition to these primary crops, plants such as cactus fruit, berries and nuts were gathered and animals such as deer and rabbits were hunted. Pueblo on Pottery serves as a window into the past, revealing the creativity, craftsmanship, and deep cultural roots of an indigenous people who thrive in the southwestern United States. It offers insights into their daily life, beliefs, and artistic expressions. The pottery stands as a testament to the continued rich cultural heritage and artistry that makes southwestern pottery highly collectible and a prized investment worldwide. Crafted from locally sourced clay, Ancestral Pueblo and Pottery exhibits diversity in form, style, and design. These artisans hone their pottery making skills over centuries, developing distinct techniques that still captivate archaeologists and art enthusiasts today. One of the defining characteristics of the pottery is the vibrant polychrome color scheme. Using mineral pigments, the Pueblo people painted detailed patterns and motifs onto their pottery ranging from geometric shapes to depictions of animals, plants, and humans. The variety of designs not only showcases the expertise of the pottery makers, but also sheds light on the cultural and spiritual significance embedded in their artwork. Understanding the purpose of the ancestral Pueblo and pottery goes beyond admiring its aesthetic allure. These vessels were integral to the daily lives serving practical functions such as storage, cooking, and serving food. The study of these artifacts provides archaeologists with valuable insights into the social, economic, and religious practices of this ancient culture. Thank you for joining me today as we explored the outdoor and indoor museums of the Manitou Cliff Dwellings in Manitou, Colorado. If you like this video, please smash the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel if you've not already done so. I sincerely appreciate all those who watch, subscribe, and comment on our videos. As always, don't take a trip. Let the trip take you. I'll be seeing you soon on our next adventure. <music>